What's going on YouTube day back again and today guess what we're talking about Amazon spinners now I actually get tweeted I get messages DMS I get all kinds of things plus comments on my videos of hey Dave what is going on with all the spinners that were on Amazon now I know I made a video a couple weeks back just kind of giving a heads up of what was going on and what was happening as of August 1st but this is actually a video just to update that so with this not being a scare tactic, what ended up happening was a lot of spinners and companies that are on Amazon had to pull their stock off of Amazon. Reason being is because they had to provide data sheets or safety sheets to Amazon about the quality, uh, the safety, the you know what the material was all these other kind of things normally that wouldn't be a big deal but most of the manufacturers that make these in china they don't provide those kind of of data sheets if you can't provide that kind of sheet then you can have it tested i think amazon had a company set up or something like this that could do the testing but it is a 500 to have this test done a lot of these companies you know when they're selling the spinner for 399 things like that they are not going to spend $500 to have that done. There are a few companies that have ended up doing that and their spinners are still up on Amazon and or they have provided the safety sheets. Now, I get this question from people all the time. What prompted this? Why did this end up happening? It's been six, eight months of these just being pounded on Amazon. It's true. Beginning of this year, there were like four or five different companies selling mainly the traditional three arm plastic spinners with the weights in there. And then it just exploded because the craze exploded. Of course, all the sellers did it end up exploding on there. One of the trends that I've ended up noticing that happened this year was once school let out and kids were kind of away from their friends man the seller the the spinner views the spinner sales the everything have dropped down just to almost nothing there are supermarkets that still have the same plastic spinner sitting on the on the counters and everything that they did you know a month or so ago that haven't moved now i will be interested to see if things pick back up when school starts back up or if this as far as a craze is dead i know there are a couple companies spinetic spinners which is doing fine they are more uh for the collector and the adult oriented um spinnercraft which has knocked down their prices completely um great company to deal with philip over there is really awesome but even he has you know slowed down if not stopped making his videos here on youtube which i think is ridiculous because he has a great presence i i pers some people think that he's completely over the top i actually kind of like it i wish i could you know do have the, add that much energy to put into a video i don't but yeah so you know i end up getting emails from different companies or you know the newsletters of this is on sale that's on sale there's an upside to this for the adult collectors things like that this is letting the smaller companies like um, Wusa, which has blown up um, i had heard of them but it wasn't until like about a month ago that they just went super crazy and now you know everybody's talking about Wusa. Um, i've had this one a little over a month i haven't reviewed it because i don't want to put it back together um, this one had a 608 core in it and uh everything and i actually knocked it out and i stuck a r188 core in there and changed out the buttons because i don't like i don't like their buttons yeah i'm, I'm gonna have some people hate on that because they love the woosaw buttons but i i don't like them they're too big and bulky um you know i've got some other ones uh this is the the ergo from uh spinetic spinners actually has this not this one this was just for the fourth july it was sold for three days something like that a couple days and uh it was 1776 i think was the total price on it you could, could not beat that on that so uh you know these are things that are on my desk that i still have to review i still have a bunch of spinners that i ended up purchasing off of amazon that i'm still going to review i am also doing um checking around see where some of these sellers ended up going a lot of them are migrating to amazon uh, not amazon to ebay to you know other other seller sites there are some that are in the works of trying to get the paperwork to amazon so they can repost up 
And so we'll see what ends up happening with that. But uh, yeah, it's it's kind of crazy because it helps some of the market and it kills some of the other markets. So it's a win-lose, depending on what side of the fence that you're on. Um, the win-win on that was it gave people a chance to pick up uh, spinners that were affordable and because let's be honest guys there are some of the spinners that are crazy ridiculous expensive um you know ranging for the average consumer 60 70 80 90 200 dollars if not more those are more for the collectors you know those higher end ones but you know and to some people ten dollars is too much money and i fully understand that um everybody's different everybody's budget's different but uh yeah i mean it is what it is we're going to have to see where this ends up going with the craze and uh with the collector things i'm still going to be posting up spinner videos because i have them and you know i'm either going to be giving them away here on this channel over on spin life or um i'm going to be donating them to i have a couple of people that are asking to be donated to the the VA, you know, they kind of work with veterans over there and it would kind of help them. So um, I have some Angry Wolves set to the side that I'm going to be donating to that, which is going to go to the VA. Um, and some of these other spinners are going to be going to Children's Hospital and some of the others are just going to be going to you guys. So definitely stay tuned for that. Um, I still have 30 spinners to review. I apologize for not really putting up any review videos per se lately. I just, I've been in a funk with work. Uh, it's been crazy. It's been, I've almost quit a couple times and um, I don't know, I wish I could. I wish I could just go, I'm done. But I can't, I still have to have my nine to five and do this. And then, so it's just one of those funk things that I am trying to work through. Um, I appreciate your guys' support. I, you know, I did not intend for my last video for it to come across like, hey, I'm quitting YouTube. Um, I think a couple people ended up taking it that way or messaged me, you know, dude, don't go anywhere. I love your videos. Um, I'm not going anywhere. I have too much invested in this. Um, I have been trying to do some like motivational style videos because it's kind of what's been in my heart uh, because it helps push me along. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me. As usual, there will be links down in the description to some of my favorite companies, being Spinetic, being Spinnercraft, and um, also there'll be a link to a Spin Life, or if this is on Spin Life, then there's going to be a link back over to Dave's World, which is my mother channel. Mother channel. Um, yeah, so I've been thinking about, let me, if you guys have sat all the way through this much of the video, let me know. I've been thinking about doing some reviews of stuff in styles of other YouTubers. There's a, uh, I watch a lot of YouTube when I'm working on a project, when I'm doing something, when I'm doing paperwork, uh, at work, so forth. I am usually watching or listening to some kind of review, vlog, something like that. So I've been thinking about trying to do a series of reviews in styles of other YouTubers. Let me know what you guys think if you'd be interested in that. You know, you got different people like PewDiePie, um, which I never really got into watching years ago. I've actually started watching some of his newer stuff because it's more adult oriented. And I, I've, I, he's actually kind of funny on some of his stuff. There will be no Jake Paul reviews because Jake Paul doesn't do reviews. Itch. I will see you guys all in the next video. That's it. I'm done. Peace out.